Mama's Bank Account, written by Catherine Forbes and published in 1943, chronicles the frugality and resourcefulness of the matriarch, known as Mama, within a Norwegian family living in early 20th century San Francisco. Catherine Forbes, using the pen name Catherine McLean, draws inspiration from her own Norwegian immigrant parents who settled in San Francisco. Initially a radio scriptwriter, Forbes transitioned to writing short stories and novels. The narrative unfolds through the perspective of Katrin, one of Mama's daughters, reminiscing about her childhood among Norwegian immigrants. The novel adopts an episodic structure, delving into various stories that showcase Mama's cleverness. The opening scene depicts a weekly ritual at the kitchen table where Papa hands over his earnings to Mama, who meticulously organizes the money for the family's expenses. Mama, reassuringly, claims they don't need to go to the bank, revealing to her children that she has a secret bank account with more funds. As the story progresses, Katrin jumps forward in time, revealing that Mama never actually visited a bank. The revelation occurs when Katrin attempts to give Mama a check for her supposed bank account, and Mama admits the existence of the account was a facade to alleviate her children's worries. The narrative further explores financial challenges when Mama decides to rent out a room to Mr. Hyde to supplement the family's income. Despite Mr. Hyde's sudden departure and a bounced check, Mama remains content, valuing the positive impact he had on the children's lives. Dagmar's illness becomes a pivotal moment when Mama, denied visitation rights, ingeniously disguises herself as a janitor to be with her daughter. The family's attachment to San Francisco is evident, but a persuasive salesman convinces Papa to purchase a chicken ranch across the bay, leading to mixed feelings among the family members. Eventually, Mama negotiates a deal to return to the city by exchanging their boarding house for another family's chicken ranch. The narrative takes a poignant turn as Papa falls ill due to an old work injury, underscoring the challenges faced by the family. Throughout the novel, Mama emerges as a resilient and caring figure, navigating financial hardships and embracing inventive solutions for the well-being of her family. He faces the prospect of undergoing a more costly operation, similar to Dagmar's. Mama, determined to secure the necessary funds, visits the surgeon and negotiates with his unsympathetic wife, who is preoccupied with home renovations. Striking a deal, Mama agrees to pay what she can and bridge the financial gap. Papa, a carpenter, offers to work on the surgeon's home for free, contingent on a successful operation. The surgeon's full payment depends on Papa's recovery. When Katrin graduates from grade school, she anticipates a traditional American graduation present. Mama, offering sentimental value, gives her mother's silver brooch. Disappointed, Katrin expresses her desire for a dresser set. Despite Mama's initial refusal, Katrin eventually gets the dresser set, learning later that Mama had to sell the cherished brooch to fulfill her wish. Overcome with shame, Katrin trades the dresser set back for the brooch, agreeing to work Saturdays for the hesitant shopkeeper. Wearing the brooch with pride, Katrin values it even more. Christine, after graduating from grade school, rejects the idea of continuing to high school and opts for a job. Disappointed, Mama encourages Christine to pursue education. Christine contributes her earnings weekly, attempting to convince Mama to accept them. When Papa earns extra money, he urges Mama to buy the long-awaited coat. However, Mama surprises Christine with a complete high school course of textbooks. Motivated by her parents, Christine decides to return to school. Nels, aspiring to become a doctor, engages in a romance with Cora Martin. Mama and Papa, concerned about the match, visit Cora's family, encountering rudeness and disapproval. The visit, marked by Mrs. Martin's indifference and a spoiled son, Rupert, leads Nels to reconsider the relationship. In the end, Nels ends things with Cora, influenced by his parents' worries about potential future family dynamics. In the final chapter, Christine, now a nurse, faces late-stage complications during childbirth. Mama, pretending not to understand the severity of the situation, soothes Christine's fears and convinces her that everything will be fine. Christine, initially fearing for her life, eventually gives birth to a healthy baby, overcoming the crisis. When Katrin questions how Mama endured five childbirths, Mama simply responds, it was good. Mama's bank account remains Catherine Forbes's most recognized novel. Adapted into John Van Dritten's stage play I Remember Mama in 1944, it later became a feature film and inspired the TV series Mama from 1949 to 1957. 
The novel also served as the basis for two separate stage musicals in 1972 and 1979. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.